So after I moved to here two years ago, I'm experiencing culture shock like every single day. That is how I started the idea of making a project to talk about culture differences. My name is Yuan Gong, and the name of my project is Culture Shock. It is an augmented reality book. It is the final project of my media studies and production master's program at Temple University. In this book, there are three main topics, which are Chinese New Year, family and marriage, and Chinese customs. Each of the topic has a very different style of videos. How much do you know about Chinese New Year? Very little. There's not a whole lot that I know about the Chinese New Year. I know there's a lot of symbolisms behind it, like how different year reflects different personalities different traits and even your luck. It is a major holiday in the Chinese culture and everyone really gets together. Uh, it's a family event and they wear red. For Chinese New Year videos, I made a dumplings party on New Year's Day and I invited some of the Chinese and non-Chinese people to this party and I interviewed each one of them to let them share like their knowledge about Chinese culture and Chinese New Year. Later on, I, I was feeling that maybe I should be like more personal and share my own stories to make the audience more you know connected with me. So actually that's also a hard part for me because I'm not used to you know expose my soft part you know to everybody. Um, but I did talk about like my relationship with my my parents and also like with my grandparents, you know. And I also talked about a lot of the the very realistic social issue, like like leftover women, you know. Like in China, if you are over 27 and not married, you're considered as leftover. That's why the parents would keep giving pressure to the girls like me, you know, and because everybody's asking you the same question, like, like, oh, you're 25, like, what are you gonna do with your life, you know? And when I come here, when, I'm, when I am here, I feel like women are just more comfortable being themselves and doing what they really want to do. And I can tell that that is something that I, I think it's the right thing to do and I uh, totally agree with. So I had to like share some of my personal experience. That's why I feel it's more meaningful. I had to do a lot of research on my, on my book, like about the reasons behind it, like why Chinese families are acting this way. Uh, why is it different? You know, like I have, I had to do a lot of research and some of the reasons I didn't even know. I've grown so much with the book. Um, and I've also learned a lot about like like I'm more sure about what I want for myself and and I have I feel like I have a better understanding about what is right what is probably not right for me I do think it was a great process for me to understand better about my own culture